James Sands is definitely good now. He was probably good before too, but it was a little bit confusing because U.S. soccer basically completely ignored him for several years. Uh, I'm not saying they were necessarily to blame for that. He did used to be bad at passing, and, and now he's good at it. There's data to back this up. You've probably seen it. G+. If not, the gist of it is he's improved drastically. That's really all you need to know. And he seems to be, at least today, the, the near consensus pick for Tyler Adams' backup. Uh, there's, I mean, this, yeah, this, some people still primarily rate him as a center back. That's fine. I don't think there's a huge reason to argue about it too much because one of the, the main good things about James Sands is his versatility. He can, he can do both. He just does so many different things well. It's something I was thinking about. If I were organizing a crew to commit a crime, like a crime squad, uh, it, a crime that involves some degree of physicality, like burglary, mansion, art museum, etc. Basically, any non-virtual type theft. Uh, other, other things like gun running, too or just like old school bank or train robbing. I definitely want James Sands on board, and he might be probably definitely the first of the U.S. pool I'd want, and maybe the only other than probably Tyler Adams. I think with Sands, uh, he just strikes me as someone who in the moment could be ruthless and calculated if he had to be. If the situation called for it, he wouldn't like be doing anything wild that's like drawing attention to the crime or anything. And I mean, there's a bunch of other like administrative and team building tasks that are really important when you're on a crime squad. It's not all about the crimes. That's what gets all the attention. But it's just, it's like, it's a lot like a normal job in a lot of ways.